Hey guys, and welcome back to the vlog. Um, fishing hunt with Luke. Uh, today's episode doesn't really have to do a lot with fishing and hunting, but uh, I uh, I just fixed my air compressor. I have a Dewalt Glow, a little one gallon, I think it is. Uh, picked it up for free on the side of the road the other day. Uh, turned, plugged it in. Everything looked to be going good. Got up to about 85 psi, and then it just kept running. So. Um, I looked at the specs on it in about 150 a little over it's supposed to just auto shut off and then when it drops back down to 120 psi it's supposed to kick back on so i was thinking what could the culprit be i checked all the hoses everything looked good um no air leaks uh just didn't get enough oomph um not quite building enough pressure so i was looking at a few other uh youtube videos and they led me towards uh the internal parts uh, either maybe a small bead head gasket leak or uh, possibly a piston worn um, or or maybe the reeds were uh, were were a little bit screwed up so this isn't going to break down taking the whole engine apart uh, and, and rebuilding it I'm going to get right to the chase here is the culprit so as you can see here these are the reeds and um, it's just all rusted out uh, it looks like Either it was left out in the rain or, or something of that nature. But if you look at a close up here, I know I got kind of shaky hands, but you can kind of see those reeds aren't level. Like uh, the rust built up between the reed itself and the, and the plate, um, the metal plate. And what we've got going on, I think, is uh, air is back flowing back into the piston and therefore not building up to the proper PSI. And that was my initial thought, and uh, magically I, I bought a new reed and uh, reed plate. They're about 10 bucks on eBay, uh, real easy. Uh, have it shipped to your door in a week, it'll be there. And uh, voila, it fixed it. So if you're, if you're having trouble with your compressor building enough pressure, it gets up there. Mine got to like 85 PSI, so that was what was puzzling to me, but not quite the, the last bit of oomph check your reeds on this reed plate and i think that's going to really uh benefit you so uh there was the culprit um again just a ten dollar fix and side of the road free for sale or your free sign i grabbed it easy come easy go so i'm going to go outside and i'm just going to show you guys what the the dewalt looks like uh i'll put back together here So there it is, the DeWalt M-Glow compressor. I think it's a one gallon. I haven't even done enough research to figure that out yet. But uh, it has a tank pressure, a regulated pressure, and then your two hose fittings. So there it is, guys. Um, that's, uh, that's the DeWalt M-Glow uh, compressor I picked up for free. So, no, it's kind of getting bobbed all over, but that that's the video for today. Um, again, if you guys are just building pressure in your compressors and you're not quite getting up to the 150 mark, and uh, and it will wreck your compressor if you continue to run it without the auto shut off kicking in, you're going to have problems down the road. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to ask any questions, and I hope you can... Uh, subscribe to my channel and I hope this helped you out. I couldn't find hardly any videos that even remotely hit close to um, where I was at with this compressor because it was frustrating as heck uh, not getting quite enough uh, enough uh, air you know pressure. But anyway, uh, also as a final note here before we close out for the day, uh, do a little test of all your hoses and everything too as well because if you could have a bead leak, um, listen for that air hiss now, but usually it's pretty easy to de define if you're having air actually leaking out of a, a per se a gasket that's between there or you know you're just not sealing up proper. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, this is Luke checking out, fishing out with Luke. You guys have a nice day.